Welcome to the Grunfoss CME Booster Video Installation Guide. Today, we'll show you the simple steps needed to install the Grunfoss CME Booster Pump to a domestic rainwater tank. Before you begin the installation, ensure you have read the installation and operation guides that came with the pump. You should also check any local regulations that may apply before installing your pump. Next, ensure you have the right tools for the job. A plumber's wrench, 10mm hex key, some thread sealing tape, also known as plumber's or Teflon tape, and depending on existing fittings, you may need a shifter. Ensure there is an isolation valve fitted to the water source outlet. It is also a good idea to fit one to the discharge of the pump. This will help you if you ever need to service your pump in the future. Grunfoss recommends a covered installation for the CME booster to protect it from harsh Australian weather conditions. Select a site near to an outdoor weather rated power point and make sure there is a firm, flat surface on which to mount the pump, like a concrete pad or pump cover base. For added security, the pump can be secured to the base, however in most installations this is not necessary. Grunfoss recommends using flexible pipework from the water source to the pump and from the pump to the house or application. Wherever practical, install the pump as close to the water source as possible. Pre-checks complete, you're now ready to install the pump. Step 1. Install the pipework. Apply sealing tape to the thread of the inlet connection. This goes on in the same direction as you would screw on a fitting. Then, connect the flexible pipework from the water source to the pump and tighten. Apply sealing tape and connect the outlet pipework to the pump and tighten. Step 2. Priming the pump. Once all the flexible pipework is in place, you are ready to prime the pump. As this pump will be attached to a water source which is above the level of the pump, to prime it, simply open the isolation valves on the water source to fill the pump with water. Step 3. Start up. Press the power button on the control panel to start the pump. Finally, turn on the furthest and highest connected tap to bleed the air out of the pipework. You can adjust the pressure using the buttons on the control panel to set the perfect household tap pressure. Now you're ready to enjoy your CME booster for many years to come.